to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Grace is not about salvation. Grace it's not even just about favor. Grace is the name given to every good and perfect gift that comes from above, given to the saints, but accessed only through the office of the Christ. It is called grace. So mercy is grace. Anointing is grace. Faith is grace. Every spiritual quality that resides in the Christ and given to the saints only through the office of the person Jesus Christ is called grace are we together so when you find people who begin to manifest certain dimensions of exploits among the many things that are at work in their lives are the levels and the dimensions like pastor would say of the graces at work in them you can know the grace upon you by the physical possibilities that recycle around your space and you can know when it grows because everything on earth is truly a report card it is speaking to you your challenges are speaking to you your results are speaking to you they continue to tell you the kind of grace that is upon your life hoping they will change is a waste of time you must introduce into your life the grace grace is like currency everything can be bought it just depends on how much you have just because you are anointed does not mean you it can purchase every spiritual reality how god anointed jesus of nazareth not that he was anointed look at the extent if i have a thousand dollars it can buy me something some things in port Harcourt. But if I'm looking for a car, most likely a thousand dollars will not buy a car. Not because it is not money. It is not money enough to purchase that. Are we together now? So when the Bible says grace and peace be multiplied, he knows that you will confront realities in your life that your current level of grace cannot obtain it. Please follow me carefully. Now, the way God remedies for this is not by anointing everyone. That's not what he does he knows the dimensions of him that are required for victory on earth so the way he does it is that the moment he sees israel in need of that grace he finds jacob a man and he enters a personal covenant with that man through the sacrifice of alignment and he supplies a dimension of his grace upon that man for the sake of those who are calling and you call him for that grace he will refer you to that man as the career of that possibility and for as long as that person is alive you will never obtain that grace ignoring that covenant please understand this i want to show you a very deep mystery <laughs> paul has an encounter with jesus and you would think that everything he needed for ministry would be given by Jesus directly. Jesus is talking to him and refers him back to a man to continue his growth process. So, men become spiritual systems on account of this covenant that they have with God. So, if it is the grace for faith, there is a man on earth today who has entered that covenant with god and for as long as he's alive you will not ignore him and walk in that level of faith so pick any man of faith from anywhere in the world it will still be traced back to that spiritual system of administering faith this is not human worship i'm showing you a very powerful mystery 
there is no man on earth today who truly works in the healing ministry who ignores Benny Hinn because currently on earth now he's not just a human being he is the spiritual system that is responsible through partnership with the Holy Spirit for administering that grace so no matter how God trains you eventually he will create a path if he wants to bless you no matter what dealing you have in the secret place he must make your path to cross there are men like that the bible says there are bodies terrestrial and there are bodies celestial that even among the stars one differed from another in glory until reinhard bonke died he was the spiritual system that represented evangelism are you seeing that now there was no territory that rejected him and that grace came upon him from billy graham many of you may not know billy graham is one of the only ministers that preached in north korea we ignore these truths and we continue to recycle pain and limitation and mediocrity in our lives when jesus was born watch this you've heard me say it pastor jesus was under a closed heaven by him Three years your jesus the logos of god could not open his own heavens until he traced a man called john the prophet watch this jesus you thought because he was the lamb of god his heavens will be open the father was watching because there was an ordinance that must be fulfilled it's amazing how strict the realm of the spirit is for one violation of spiritual order you will you can pay for years this is why enlightenment is powerful so jesus looks for john and when john saw him a code was given to john in the wilderness every time john baptized he looked up the heavens did not open he said go away john was not just a baptist he was identifying he was looking for someone that's why baptism stopped the moment he met jesus there's no record of him baptizing anyone now watch this please follow me john did not just go around baptizing no he was using it as a spiritual strategy to look for someone so jesus comes and he says behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world jesus would have said wow you are really a sharp prophet i applaud your discernment now G john is standing there pastor and john said i am not worthy even to untie the latchet of your shoes and jesus makes a very profound statement suffer it to be so you want to destroy my ministry if I do not submit to what you represent because until I came you are the one giving the keys to this place and not even me can violate what you represent watch this and John picks Jesus dips him in water brings him out and your Bible says and the heavens open and God spoke and said now this is my beloved son what was he before The Bible never called him son until that happened. Satan was not even interested in him. When he failed at birth, he left him. But when that proclamation happened, the Bible says his heavens were opened. Hmm. May God deliver the body of Christ from ignorance. I show you why many well-meaning people are under closed heavens many sincere prayer warriors people who love Jesus with all their hearts let me tell you the truth I'm going to make a few statements I pray it does not offend you I will explain myself and when you listen later you understand but in the name of Jesus I want you to find a way of believing this all men are equal in Christ but all men are not equal This is not human worship. I'm not teaching this nonsense people do around. Believe me. I'm saying by reason of the sacrifice of alignment, there are men who have entered a covenant with God. Not Old and New Testament. No. They have become the administrators 
of certain spiritual possibilities on earth and within territories are we together now house on the rock as a, a spiritual institution has a covenant with god that has released a dimension of possibility excellence and leadership to the body of christ in truth no matter how you want to be excellent if god wants to help you he will bring you to contact that grace it's an ordinance there are people who started prospering before they knew anything about finances they didn't even know why they were under a grace that was already they were drinking from that possibility before they started learning the laws he sent a word to jacob and it lighted upon israel is a mystery he does not send a word to israel no he sends it to jacob but he sees israel in jacob are we together now kenneth copeland today on earth is god's spiritual system of administering faith there is a dimension of lifting that either through his teaching or through a direct impartation that supply of the spirit must come to him women were designed to be gates in the spirit anything you are doing at a global level if a woman does not support you this looks like error and many ignorant people will not understand and they'll begin to speak if a woman is not introduced into your space you will be very surprised when satan came he didn't go to adam he went straight to the woman there was something he knew that's why till today he's still disturbing the bride of christ unfortunately you are it so he continues to disturb you because you have assumed the posture of the bride of christ when jesus resurrected the first person to announce his resurrection was a woman because women are gates Are we together yes sir even physically when men cry the governments just leave them alone and fix a date to meet them one day but when women cry and move around the government now pays attention and say well, what are you saying what exactly is it there's nothing called wailing men in the bible but there are wailing women that when they cry unto god there is something listen 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 impartation is a law that transfers spiritual possibilities to men to institutions and to territories please pay attention god hides his anointing in men he hides his anointing in institutions this is very powerful he hides his anointings even in physical territories there are territories on earth today you may argue it but it's true these territories have a covenant with god there are certain spiritual possibilities that happen to men just stepping their feet within those territories it is true there are institutions today that carry a certain dimension of god's grace if God wants to help you, he will bring you in contact with those institutions. But for this impartation, there are men. It is true. The ability to discern these men and the graces that they carry is real discernment. And it will open you up to a world of power and a world of possibility. The sea always had the ability to divide. But nobody was carrying the grace that would make it obedient. So the sea looked like it was disobedient until Elijah came. Are we together now? If the sea never parted, we will write a book and say seas don't part. Be careful when your experience concludes certain dimensions of God because there are graces sent to trivialize what you call mountain every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it challenges are not generic please find a way of believing this sir the Bible says Saul the son of Kish lost his donkey the father's donkey 
and for three days they kept going around searching for that donkey and the donkey could not have the discernment to go back home are we together but as soon as they meet this being called samuel they didn't even tell him what was wrong the moment there was an eye contact the donkey started going back home what did the donkey see read your bible samuel told them he said we came and said don't talk to me about donkey there are more serious issues the donkey will go back home just because a man met a man and god himself has respect for that system when god rejected saul as king he would have anointed david to be the next king but saul the bridge for that impartation was still negotiating i mean samuel was still negotiating for saul and you thought god would say no i am god i push you aside please bring another prophet god had to come down himself and meet samuel and explain things he said how long will you weep seeing that i've rejected saul as king you are delaying another man's rising go to the house of jesse david would have been having dreams of the throne but a man not a demon was stopping his rising because he was the one giving that prophetic office are we blessed when i learned this i put my hand on my head i said my god it means there are people who may never rise in life and may never rise in ministry because we have uh, we have respectfully speaking and i'm not just speaking to house on the rock i'm speaking to the body of christ we have this growing disdain for the sacrifices of people there are people who are standing upon altars that drip with blood as a testament of their covenant and their pain and their many years of sacrifice with god hallelujah yes. let me show you a scripture i don't know if we have the time to walk this out anyway numbers chapter 27 from verse 18 to 20 numbers 27 let's hurry up because we have to pray in this place and the lord said unto moses take thee joshua the son of Nun. watch this a man in whom the spirit whom is the spirit and do what that the spirit is upon him already it's not an excuse read your bible god is saying the spirit of god is already on him he says but lay your hands on him and you will see what happened next verse and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge of their sight. Take a man who already has received the spirit, lay hands on him. Deuteronomy 34 and verse 9. Let's walk this please. Deuteronomy 34 and verse 9. Deuteronomy 34 and verse 9. Please read it if you're a Christian. One to read. And Joshua the son of Nun was full of what? the spirit of wisdom for moses had laid his hands on him and the children of israel hearkened unto him and did as the lord commanded moses keep that scripture there full of the spirit of wisdom the bible just said he had the spirit but there was a dimension he did not have the spirit of wisdom that was required for leadership and the honor that compels loyalty from followers that's what moses transferred to him do not make what you have received stop you from receiving what you need please find a way of believing this most times what we have received becomes a limitation for what we need oh i'm preaching he's preaching too i can sing he can sing too and you do not realize joshua would have said i already have the spirit even god said it to you and moses would look at him and say what a child you don't know how stubborn these people are that's why there is a grace that makes men hear you they don't hear you because you are speaking it's called a hear ye him anointing 
this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased he said hear ye him when that grace is on your product it's impossible to remain small hear ye him compels situations and structures and systems to reckon with the dealings of god upon your life joshua the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom not for god desired to give him for moses laid his hands on him number two numbers <laughs> numbers chapter 11 we'll start reading from verse 16 goodness 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 and the lord said unto moses watch this gather unto me 70 men of the elders of israel whom thou knowest to be elders of the people an elder had a has stamina he says and bring them to the tabernacle that they may stand here with thee go to verse 17 and i will come down and talk with thee there and i will take of the spirit which is upon thee and i will put it upon them and they shall bear the burden of the people that thou may not bear it alone I wrote a few scriptures so that we'll hurry up now go to verse 24 24 and 25 i sense a strong anointing in this place already 24 and 25 and moses went out and told the people the words of the lord and gathered the 70 men of the elders of the people and set them round about the tabernacle 25 and the lord came down in a cloud and spake unto him and took of the spirit that was upon him and gave it to the 70 elders and it came to pass when the spirit rested on them they prophesied and did not cease look up this is one man carrying a spirit and yet he's quiet and part of that spirit came on 70 elders and none could keep quiet and stand yet one man was carrying it and he was quiet elders Part of what is in one man comes upon elders and they kept prophesying from morning till night and yet one man was carrying it with self-control and just moving quietly believe me when i tell you all men are not equal when moses died satan was even looking for his dead body he still want the dead body was still useful The Bible tells us that impartation is a mystery that can transfer possibilities from one man to the other. That means, watch this, when God tells you he has designed for you a life of victory and glory, he says that on the strength of the provisions that he has made available to you, that if discerned can bring you into supernatural dimensions of grace now there are many believers who love god sincerely they love him with all their heart but they have not discerned that the results that we command depend on the dimensions and the quality of the grace that is upon our lives there are many people who would open the bible and say ah, he said they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed and now you go and behave like the sons of Skiva and now lay hands on the sick or lay hands on people that are demonized and you find out that nothing happens and you are wondering did the word lie the word did not lie there is an operation to it every one of you seated here listen to me the dimension you seek to enter there is a grace that is an usher that leads you there you don't go alone when you want to step into dimensions life will ask you what is the grace that is bringing you here otherwise you have no business here you want to sing like the great you want to prophesy like the great and so when god organizes this conference listen it's not just a time of teaching alone it's also a time of transference of graces now let me tell you something about the apostolic ministry follow this the hallmark of the, the apostles are not preachers apostles are spiritual administrators they coordinate 
spiritual activities within given territories according to the measure of grace given to them that means it is part of the apostolic and the prophetic office to supervise the health and the efficiency of the body of christ within a territory and they do that by enlightenment and then by introducing the graces they discern as cast within a territory so that the saints on the strength of that grace can rise to those dimensions so the first key to a true apostolic ministry is not teaching is discernment you can enter a city and spot on know the graces that are not available and the graces that need to be upgraded and that now becomes your assignment this is why the apostolic grace can become anything in any meeting based on the grace that needs to be supplied you can meet a man who is not a teacher but if that territory is looking for the teaching grace for that meeting he will change to become a teacher so that people can receive that grace are we blessed but that what comes upon you please find a way of believing this is what controls what is around you life does not just obey you there is a grace that when you possess it will cause men to come to you with their resources there is a grace that makes people loyal to you i'm a good person that's not enough there is a grace It's the same grace that made the lions quiet when daniel was there they didn't do it for everyone so we know we know the grace is not upon everybody once upon a time the apostles did not have this grace they still had the heart but the grace was not there and their results showed that that grace was not upon them and then a time came when peter received the bible says even his shadow was healing the sick there was a time in my life i prayed for the sick they were not healed many preachers will not admit this I prayed for people with HIV, cancer, barrenness. Nothing happened. I was a sincere preacher who loved the Lord. I had to come to a point in my life where I broke my pride and said, Do you know what? God, thank God for what God is doing in your life. But this grace is not there. And the thing with grace is that if it's not there, it's not there. Period. You can act like it is there. If it is there, it speaks instantly. I'm saying that because something is about to come on someone so of your father oh Saul you did not know that the grace for royalty and the prophetic will come upon you but now that you encountered Samuel when you honor men you don't honor bodies you honor the spiritual investment the sacrifice of alignment that has made them custodians of those dimensions of spiritual reality I wish I were lying I would have just said I'm sorry but this is true suffer it to be so you've heard me say i'm a product of many anointings many anointings and my assignment among other things is as god grants me grace to travel and strengthen the body of christ and help the men and the women of god that god is using in every city among the many things is the ability to supply that grace and I've been privileged by God to be given unique experiences I don't talk too much about these experiences because I want the faith and the confidence of people to be built on the word I have met the saints of old I have met Jesus the Christ himself we're about to pray Jesus gave me an instruction that I will never disobey for as long as I live. When I encountered him, there was a light that came from him to me. And he told me, it, to every city and nation you travel to, there must be someone in that meeting that that light that came from you to him must also come upon that person. My friend, look at me. There is an anointing coming on you, this guy. Take that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. So I know that my time is up, but this is our final service. And you are going to pray and cry your heart. Some of you is for your ministry. The, you've been praying and fasting and say, Lord, take us to a new level. Time does not change anything. 
time only reveals it is what is upon you that defines what is around you there is a grace for influence influence does not come with age influence does not necessarily come even with your educational prowess there is a grace that compels people and territories to listen to you it is true there is a king maker anointing people don't just become kings there is a grace that enthrones when that grace is upon you no matter where you are even in the cave of adulam it will not stop till you sit on the throne that is the grace politicians need that is the grace that people of influence need not just for self-aggrandizement is for the purposes of the kingdom and so what is going to be happening here in a few minutes is a distribution of these spiritual possibilities that you take to yourself and your destiny a portion of spiritual reality that you did not come with as at the beginning of this conference there is a grace that causes the book of remembrance to be opened people don't just remember you because you are on earth no the bible says and that night then the king could not sleep and he said bring me the chronicles there were many people who had done good but he said what shall be done to this man listen in esther chapter 2 a village girl pastor called hadassah is attempting to contend for the position of queen and while other ladies were learning how to walk how to dress one who was the keeper of the king's virgins called Hagar called her he said let me tell you a secret there is an oil rub it on yourself for one year I know the king I know what he wants don't mind these things they are doing there is an oil some aloes keep rubbing on yourself and then Esther chapter 2 and verse 17 the Bible says when Esther stood before Ahasuerus it says the king loved Esther above that means he was considering others before she came but as soon as esther shows up with that oil she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so he set the royal crown of her head and made her queen instead of vashti listen to me stop praying about your request obtain the grace that makes that prayer a testimony otherwise it will remain a prayer point you want to build i agree it takes more than money i tell you the truth it takes more than money there is a grace that builds there is a grace for territory he dug a well and the philistines covered it he dug another well they covered it he dug the third one and they left him and he called it Rehoboth. He said, God has given me my own space. Oh, I'm tired of being a tenant. There is a grace. It's not just by saying, let me save and get money. There's a place for that. But first things first, there is a grace that when you carry that grace, your portion within a territory must be given to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you sir. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? Yes, it's true. So we're about to pray because God wants to insist that if you call it activating the supernatural, then your life, you are supernatural when there are gaps in the explanation of your results. Your result cannot be all scientific. Oh, I know it is one plus one equals to three. No, there has to be an equation in your life that only God can explain. And if it is the Lord's doing, then it must be marvelous. If it's man, you don't clap for me for walking. Walking is human. But when I fly, another agency is now supporting me. Please hear me. Some of your families are at the mercy of what you are about to receive some of our ministries are the mercy of what we're about to receive this is not human worship not at all we are only stewards of this mystery by the privilege of the election of grace we have been made stewards communicators of these dimensions and that if you can discern elijah told elisha if you can discern he says my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof i've had the privilege 
to meet a few people who have had contacts with God's generals as we call them I'm a student of revival I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of people I've had the opportunity like a bee carrying many anointings even some that I don't need in my own life but for the sake of destinies house on the rock if you will believe a time came in my life when the Lord told me after a series of experiences he said from today you have entered the overflow anointing star I don't know who this man is but I'm seeing the angel of the Lord pour oil on him the Lord is shifting you to a new dimension in the spirit I don't know who you are but this man will become a wonder in this territory this man the hand of the Lord is upon him and the Lord is rolling away everything that looks like the limitation of yesterday didn't you sing it we are here for you come and rise up on your feet just pray in the spirit in one minute father this is a moment of destiny it's a time for my heart to receive just few minutes and we're done shabalakato sabrandakagabalato siyata outside pray that in the name of Jesus I draw strength from the realm of the spirit I tap into the economy of heaven hallelujah hallelujah the anointing of the spirit is upon this woman that's your wife there is a dimension of the prophetic that the Lord is shifting this woman into in the name of Jesus I stretch my hand step into that dimension husband you to come there is a dimension of grace both you and your wife two of you are stepping into that grace I don't know you but you will never be the same take that grace now fresh fire upon your life you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same father the grace for my destiny the next level of my life release it upon me lift your voice and begin to pray someone is praying outside pray there is no distance there is no barrier in the spirit Sir, please this man and his wife come I knew the Lord was going to anoint you both but I was just waiting for his timing while we were talking there please lift your hands you and your wife it's time for you to step into a new season in ministry father in the name of Jesus take that grace now both of you I release that grace upon you you will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus you will never be the same now please hear me I want to pray and I want to release the grace for speed please hear me as I pray this grace the hand of God is going to come on so many people here please whether you are an usher or not help them bring a few of them that you can bring out they will begin to run physically as though is by the spirit right now at the count of three I declare father over the city of Port Harcourt, over house on the rock, I declare at the count of three, the grace for speed. One, 
two take that grace take that grace i shift you by the spirit no more delay no more delay no more delay no more delay i cause delay from your destiny here at house on the rock activate conference Parado shalakata a break a take a take a record and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. You will never. I'm seeing the number 31 the healing anointing a strong anointing for the healing ministry some of you have prayed you have fasted at the count of three oh God like a mighty wind may that ministry be activated over this land take that grace right now take that grace right now the power to heal the sick the power to deliver the oppressed in the name of Jesus Christ just a few minutes and we are done for this service my God this song that's what I hear in my spirit a grace for restoration where people can receive back time I want to release that grace upon you right now father in the name of Jesus the son of the living God that the years that the canker worm has eaten at the count of three I declare that that grace falls upon your life one two three take that grace Take that grace, take that grace, restoration of time, restoration of things, in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to pray for the sick shortly. Who is Juliet? Juliet. I'm hearing a name, Juliet. Who is that? Juliet. Please come quickly, just two, three minutes. Juliet no the Juliet I'm seeing is wearing a maroon dress like maroon you are wearing some is it, I think maroon or ox blood something like that is there someone like that what's your name madam Juliet I want to pray for you you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life Rebecca I'm hearing the name Rebecca 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 this is what I'm hearing in my spirit Rebecca madam I want to pray for you this is your daughter you are Julia too I will pray for you a member of this church I want to pray for you Madam, don't worry, let me talk to you. Please give her the mic. No, no, don't, don't. It doesn't mean you hold it. This lady, the Lord is opening my eyes. What's your name? Huh? Juliet. 
please don't come out at random please please Juliet what's the name of your daughter her name is Jack. ah I have to pray because what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing someone inside a coffin already and they are saying it's cancer that killed her what does she have Huh? Oh dear, our mic is not working. Please help us. Praise the Lord. We have to pray. She has cancer. This is what I'm telling you that I'm, that I'm seeing. But the Lord himself is about to step in. You believe that? Please stand up, madam. There is a name that is above every other name. And we are going to pray. What's her name? Chiamaka. Chiamaka. Rosaline, 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 you are in the choir, Rosaline, who is that, is there someone like that, Rosaline, is she in the choir, Allah will turn in this around, that's my prophecy for you, Allah will turn in this around, it's turning things around for your good. Listen, my dear, look at me. The month of January, February is a strange month of lifting for your family. Here at House on the Rock, you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life. In the name of Jesus. Ma, let us pray. Stretch your hands towards this woman and let us agree. Hold my hands, madam. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the mercy of God speak for you. Speak for your baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, madam, I pray that the Lord himself will perfect your health. Let your blood be cleansed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone here has, please don't be embarrassed. You don't have to come out. Someone here has the issue of blood. Whether it's your circle or not. Go out now and check. It has stopped. Right now. Go out right now and check. This is whether it's your monthly circle or not. Very painful. You've had an issue. Go, please use the restroom now and check. We have just five, ten minutes and then we're done. Juliet, I want to pray for you. First bank. You walk in first bank. This is, I'm saying that you walk in first bank. I have to pray for that person. You work in First Bank here in this city. Sir, I want to pray for you. There is a grace for wealth that God wants to put upon your life. This is not just about the bank. This is God increasing you. Because I'm seeing that soon you will not even be there again. I'm seeing you doing oil and gas. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God? I pray that God will show you mercy and grant you access to this grace for the sake of his kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Wow I just saw a win there are many prophetic worshipers it's a grace for prophetic worship at the count of three that grace is going to be resting on people and I'm glad minister Dunsin is in this place in the name of Jesus I pray I don't know where they are but I just saw that wind and I hear prophetic worship. There is a grace that is coming upon you. Father, I pray there are men and women who must sing songs. Songs of the Spirit. At the count of three, may that anointing take that grace. One, two, three. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A dimension of prophetic worship. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord take you to higher levels. And dimensions in the spirit in the name of Jesus I can't remember why I called you out in the name of Jesus Christ one two three four five ladies in that family experiences there are men who have paid their price with God and have been able to access power to be a blessing to the church so make no mistake of thinking that this is some funny demonic thing no 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 not at all 
in the name of Jesus Christ laughter is symbolic of victory in the spirit why God does the things that he does this is not just some superstitious things I prophesy to you and to your families that that which brings shame and gloominess by the spirit of grace may it live your life forever leave your family forever and I also prophesy to someone here who is tapping into this testimony the seasons of crying over your loved ones and over your life I bring them to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ are you seeing that the laughter is over it was not about superstition God bless you lay your hands I want to pray for the sick now can you lend me five more minutes pastor I just sense that God is doing something in this place Oge Chuku is it Oge or Oge Chuku Oge Chuku my God come this man's life is about to change the Lord is telling me that he will use you as an example of what service can do to a man Okay, is this not the young man that escorts us or something? You are the one driving. The Lord is saying I should tell you that he's going to use your life as a testimony of what service can do. Let me tell you this. Fear people who serve you. They are climbing mysterious ladders in the spirit. My friend, I stand in the open room, not in, in, in private. And I prophesy to you in the presence of your pastor and the servants of God here according to the time of life I speak three months one two three over your life may you shift to a dimension of grace a dimension of wealth a dimension of power even by the Spirit of the Living God and I pray that that which brings shame and reproach to your life it will live like smoke before the wind in the name of Jesus Christ May God bless you, sir. It pays to serve. It truly pays to serve. Let me pray for the sick right now. You're trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hands right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, please make contact with your chest. Let's rebuke infirmity. Something is happening here. The healing anointing is about to flow. Salah Supra has God is a healer, is a restorer. Now listen, please. Pastor has given me the privilege of five minutes. This is what will happen. I will rebuke infirmity in here, out, everywhere. Now very quickly, just so that we can bring glory and honor to the... with me house on the rock in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus shout a loud amen, amen. in the name of Jesus amen. now two people are going to shout under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone when that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow in this place I honestly don't know why God does this sometimes two people now we're ready to pray for the sick. I rebuke every spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. Shout a believing amen. I rebuke I rebuke every devil of infirmity from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet. My God, such an anointing. I declare be healed now. Help them please. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood condition. Be healed now. Your genotype that you desire changed. We change it now. I command migraine headaches. The Lord is healing migraine. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing the Lord heal high blood pressure. Be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus I mentioned the issue of blood and I'm seeing God do it again in the name of Jesus I command that irregular cycle to stop now every 
malignant growth around your abdominal region i cause it let it go now anyone who cannot use your ears properly i declare your ears open now every blind eye be open now in the name of jesus christ every bone condition here hear the word of the lord i declare be straightened be made whole now someone is being healed from peptic ulcer in the name of jesus peptic ulcer i'm seeing at least four ladies lump in your breast i cause it now weakness weakness in the body you can't stand for long in the name of jesus be healed now there's someone you have a problem with your throat your neck or your throat i don't know what that problem is the power of god is touching you now be healed in the name of jesus severe pain around your abdominal region be healed in the name of jesus you find out that whether it's cold or hot your body is consistently hot in the name of jesus i come against it now whether i mention your case or not here at activate 2020 be healed in the name of jesus 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 in two minutes very quickly we're out of time i'd like you to check yourself if you are coming from outside please do let the protocol know that you are coming for healing so that they can allow you to come very quickly the power of god has taught several people i'd like you to leave your seat check yourself quickly just come here right now let's celebrate miracles in this place are you seeing what god is doing in this place my god check yourself check yourself very quickly make your way boldly to the front let's celebrate them as they come inside outside the power of god has touched you just line them here we confirm them and um just have a few people come quickly are you celebrating what god is doing here those coming from outside check yourself if you're coming please rush please rush please rush creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus I went home and, and I felt um, a pain at my side. And a couple of years ago, I done um, test and they said I had ovarian cysts. Ovarian cysts. And then I even came with the pain today. When he talked about blood, then today I just felt like tap was running. But when he said that, I don't feel like I'm completely anymore. Praise the Lord. Any pain? Any pain? It's, it's gone. gone completely. Yes, it will never return to you again okay. in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. This particular headache. Please help us with the mic. I, my, down my throat. And for, for some time it stopped. Only for me as I came today. It didn't start out. I've been feeling so weak. Yet what happened to you now? Now it's, I'm healed. And Completely. I asked God, why now? He said so that he can settle it once and for all. In the name of Jesus. Come, madam. Oh, Never returns again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Next person, very quickly. Praise the Lord. I've, I've always desired my God, miracles a are genotype change. I, when a pastor mentioned my case, I, I received a flash that uh, my genotype has been changed. So you go to the hospital eh, for, for a check, right? So make sure you go and then let it be verified. Yes, very quickly. Okay, the, uh, this is what will happen. If you, you, if you can have two mics so that we just do them concurrently very quickly. Yes, please. Go ahead. Praise God. So please sit for a few days. minutes. Two years now, I've been dealing with um, ulcer, tonsillitis, back pain, chest pain. Medically verified? Yes. Okay. But there's nothing that has been done. Like anytime I take the drugs, it's. What happened now? 
since yesterday, I prayed and I was like, God, I need your healing. My I cannot God. be going through this. And the moment you came in, I've not felt any back pain. I've not felt any. I've no Try to jump. On a normal day, I would Any pain. Eat. Bend down. Nothing, nothing. Bend down. Any pain. Whatever. Completely. On a normal day, I do not. Once I wake up from bed, seven o'clock, I would eat. I've not eaten till now, and there's no pain. What In the name eat? of Jesus, it never returns to you. In Jesus' name, yes, please. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank God for the past six years I've been on drugs. Any day I don't take drugs, I won't be able to walk. Even before I came here, I was even struggling to come. I just want. I just believe that God has healed me because if I don't take drugs. Before I will go, even go and urinate, I will urinate my body if I don't. I've been my on God. drugs. I've lived Come. a life with drugs. Don't cry. You see, you don't understand the value of the power of God until you see what it does to the life of those who have been victimized by darkness. You can imagine a wonderful lady like this easing herself on her body just because of some demonic thing. Oh, but Jesus. But Jesus. Please stand up, my dear. Don't cry. You will never forget this conference. Hold my hand. I bring you the life and the power of the Spirit. Let it be over forever. Yes, please. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. I have been having a chest a pain in my ribs for months now. Yes. And it emanated like yesterday, started yesterday. There's Ask. someone, you came here with a boil. Go and check it now. The shock is that you will not even see it again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. As you just prayed now. It left completely. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Very quickly. Just a few minutes for this. The Lord bless you. Yes, please. Church, praise the Lord. I'm really grateful to God because for the past six years, I've been experiencing toothache. And whenever it comes, it normally touches my, in my brain. And I've taken all medications, but no care. I really thank God for healing me. After the what prayers, what happened right now? After the prayers, I received instant healing. Completely. Instant. Yes, sir. It will never return to you again. Amen. I stretch my hands towards you and I curse that spirit. I declare you are free now. You are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Quickly. I want to thank God because for about three months ago, I had a revelation, and after that, I usually have pain. And into my prayer, I feel this pain. Yesterday, I was seated and I felt a swollen on my neck and it refused to go. And it was, it, I was feeling very hot. So I told my parents that I'm coming to this place and they will, I will be healed. As I was at the back and you, were, you said something concerning your throat, neck, I placed my hands on that place. And right now, my it's neck gone. is gone. Turn your neck. Any pain? Any pain? Come on, Port Harcourt. Any pain? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that every ailment I release the power of God upon you and I declare be healed completely in Jesus name go ahead we may not be able to take Praise everyone the but then let's let's Praise. go ahead please so you said something about someone's throat since me there's something that crawls up my throat then it starts to choke me and tears come out from my eye okay so when you said I didn't want to come out because I can't check it but something said go you're healed Oh, in the name of Jesus, come, my dear. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Never to return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Service um, yesterday and my glasses got broken. I've been having this eye pain since February this year. So I came to service and with this burning sensation in my eye, as soon as you prophesied you mean it's, you said the word it just went immediately i am made all i came to return all glory to god in the name of jesus the lord will perfect you you remain whole in jesus name Praise the lord in the space of a year i lost my mom and my sister since then my temperature has always been hot i was the oh one who complained of every time my body is always hot <laughs> But now my body is cold. Completely. Completely. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I declare that devil of darkness lives your life forever. You are made whole now, you remain whole forever. In Jesus' name. Please, very quickly, let's see if we can take a few. Just coordinate them. Let's. 
just a few striking testimonies and then we'll pray for the rest yes these are testimonies too pastor what is happening in your church <laughs> Go ahead. I had a vascular necrosis since I was six. In 2018, I went for a surgery. They said my bone tissues were dying. That your bone tissues were dying. <laughs> okay. Regenerate. Okay. So because of that, I always feel sharp pain in my hip. Bone. Sharp pain. Okay, your hip pain. Yeah. When you mentioned the bone each was gone, I felt completely so wrong. <laughs> wrong. Any pain? You move mountains. You cause walls. Your power is There is nothing that's impossible. That's impossible. And we're standing here. Hold my hands. You will never need to have a hip replacement. In the name of Jesus, gone and gone forever. Yes, please. For the past about six or seven years ago. I feel this lump down in my lower abdomen. A lump? Yes. Okay. I'm so scared to go to the hospital, so I've been praying about it. And then you made, you made mention of my two cases. Right when I was a child, I had measles and got my left eye partially sighted. And I've been believing God for that. But specifically, this lump gone. I can't Press find it. it anymore. Press it. It's gone. Completely gone. Hold my hand, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns by the power of the Holy Ghost. Can we just have two, two or so, so that we're done? Please, just coordinate them in no particular order, please, so that we we'll save time. You know what will happen? Maybe we'll, we'll find you, you can always have some other time to testify in church here. We may not have all the time. I apologize for stretching you beyond the normal time but just to celebrate what God is doing and to celebrate what the word is doing go ahead please quickly praise the Lord for the past four months I've been having my great headache even yesterday before coming to church I had to take pain relief my friend is a witness most times before I know the headache could just come very heavily but immediately pastor declared the word the headache just it's completely the gone in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Where I used to do business, there is something that happened. I, since that time, all my body used to burn. He said, uh, there is uh, this ritual people that dropped that something. This what? Ritual people. People that use people for ritual. Oh, they so, cut, they cut, they, they kidnap you? They, no, they keep something that in my shop. Okay. I picked it they drop money so i thought it was my change so they drop it uh, in my place and, and what it. happened after that and immediately after that time all my body was burning it looks as if i didn't know okay. myself again and now and now i'm okay completely completely blotting out every handwriting the bible says and every ordinance that spoke against us the bible declares that he nailed it to his cross sir hold my hand in the name of jesus i declare let it be gone now out of his life I pray in the name of Jesus for all of you who have received. I, I so apologize. There are so many people. Sorry, we can't have you. You see, let me tell you, this man, he was not joking. It's true what he said. This ritual, whatever it is. I know what I saw when he was crying. Look at a grown man crying like a baby. Only God knows. I pray for you every planting of darkness in and around your life that is attempting to frustrate the counsel of God over your life I declare destroyed now and for all of you who have been healed in the name of Jesus I release you to experience the grace of God it will never return in Jesus name I pray this is my final session I want to make an altar call please listen to me it is important 
that people be saved it is important that people come to the saving knowledge of Jesus many of you have been here from when the conference started and the Holy Ghost began to speak to you from speaker after speaker and some of you are in the overflow some of you are online I want to make this altar call we have just a minute sincerely pastor forgive me but right now I declare that the power of sin Satan is broken over your life I'm going to ask you very quickly you're trusting the Lord and you're saying apostle here at house on the rock I want to remember this day forever that this was the day that I received the life of Jesus this was a day that I allowed the Spirit of God to win this war over my life wherever you are as though you are running from fire that is burning on a mountain I like you to run quickly and come and stand here I will just count one to five and then we're done please make sure you do not waylay the ministers here one two those in the overflows you don't have to come in just move to the front of your projector screen move to the front of your projector screen all of the overflows move to the front of your projector screen three are you coming apostle I'm not sure if I'm born again or not join them quickly house on the rock is this how you celebrate salvation it's time for a fresh start with Jesus it's time for a fresh start with Jesus no matter what the past is he can give you a new beginning you can start afresh with him in the name of Jesus now please look at me I salute all of you ladies and gentlemen thank you for the courage to come here the Bible says as many whoever will come to him that he will in no wise cast away please lift your right hand above your head and I want you to say this passionately and truthfully so you're not reciting a poem this is a declaration that becomes your initiation into this life of faith and this life of victory hallelujah say after me Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart and I believe that you are the son of God I believe you shed your blood your life for my sin today I declare that eternal life is mine I declare that you are my Savior you are my Lord and you are my King I hand over my life to you and I receive yours in exchange from today I go forward ever and backward never some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears you're crying before your maker in the name of Jesus I pray for you that you will enjoy the ministry of the Holy Spirit I pray for you that the grace to walk in victory may that grace be released upon you I decree and declare that the power of sin the power of Satan the power of the flesh is broken over your life forever in the name of Jesus your life will become an unending epistle of signs and wonders in Jesus name I pray okay now this is what I want you to do very quickly you will return back to your seats just pick your bag your Bibles whatever you came to church with and then um, you meet them where please help me okay there will be a gentleman waving his hands this gentleman there are a group of people waving their hands you can follow them if you've picked everything that you have please just follow them they will lead you to a room and just follow you up very quickly and you celebrate them as they go please let's stand we're done in the name of Jesus Christ may the remaining part of this year look like heaven in your life I declare that the realm of the spirit will consistently partner with you for divine results you have carried graces and anointings every dimension of grace required for the next level of your life I release it upon you you return from this conference as signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ and for the members of this church house on the rock Port Harcourt, I pray for you 
in the name of Jesus everything that is alive grows therefore I speak over your life grow rise to a new level in the name of Jesus the Lord continue to bless you in Jesus name pastor thank you so much I love you with all my heart dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development Lord grant me the discipline 